Certainly. So a um, couple of the trends that we're seeing as a front start to move, things start to close, um, there is increased flexibility. I think it's something we've been asking and really wanting for a long time. But um, our ability to move more towards those IAB terms and less and, and further away from the world of options and, and firmness, um, it's something that our clients have been asking for, something that, that we've been able to deliver on this year, especially with that move to programmatic. Move to programmatic obviously being a trend that's now over the past couple of years, but certainly seeing it accelerate um, with, with sports, with uh, Netflix and, and others now uh, really being able to uh, transact programmatically. Um, that's another big trend on our on our plate. So speaking of programmatic, how does Horizon look at the need for market-based creation of inventory in these new programmatic kind of opportunities? Yeah, so I think it's important that, that we help package and organize things a bit for our upfront ac accounts and clients, but also for those clients that maybe don't participate in the upfronts, but are very interested in uh, working within the streaming marketplace. So. Um, that's something that, that we've done. We've built out a few few products such as Select TV, which is a curation of over 50 different PMPs um, with the top tier um, MVPDs and broadcast partners and uh, native streaming partners. And we've basically built, built that out to make it a little bit more optional, allow accounts to select which um, which partners they want included in their package. And then uh, we deliver transparent uh, reporting and show where the performance comes from. So something that we really um, have pressed on and something that we've we've seen a lot of success with. That's brilliant. And I'm sure your, your clients really appreciate that. Speaking of kind of value, have you noticed the value of sports content increase as the consumption continues to fragment across all these channels? Yes, I think... Um, it certainly has. There's a finite amount of sports content. However, that, that has increased and improved um, you know, the success and, and populate, uh, popularity of the WNBA. Now we see that as another viable place to, to put our, our dollars. Um, but certainly as um, what we're seeing is that the rate of change in sports is, is completely different than other places, right? And that's because the demand is there. Live eyeballs really do make a difference. Today, there's new formats that are being introduced, whether it's a pause ad or whether it's native ads within kind of, you know, television experiences. Um, and especially as audiences move to more IP-based environments like streaming. Is this something that you're seeing advertisers really start to experiment with? Yes, um, I think it has started. Um, I think native ads was kind of the earliest home run there. And um, that's due to the fact that there was familiarity with what a native ad is. Um, how it looks, what it does in comparison to I don't know, 15 years ago in the homepage roadblock, right? It's, it's the first screen you see, it's where you're gonna get the eyeballs, it's great for our entertainment accounts, it's great for our, our QSRs and retailers, so that's definitely a place that we've seen. Um, the pause ads, again, is more akin to, I guess, 10, 12 years ago also with like um, some, of those, some of those slate ads that we used to see in the early days of Hulu, right? So again, there's familiarity there that, hey, these are ads that are interactive. Maybe you can uh, move more commerce there. It could be more of that, that TV commerce or um, inter interaction that, that occurs that we could track and then build audience segments off of. Um, so it's, it's certainly an area that has been a focus and an area of interest. So as all this you know, all this change in the marketplace and the new opportunities have come into play. Uh, metrics such as attention, such as sentiment are, are data points that are really now available to, to marketers and advertisers where they weren't before. Um, are these becoming important to how you think about evaluating content and how are you using that when you're going into negotiations with some of these partners? Yes, I, I think it's it's still early, um, but I do think that attention is, is starting to break through certainly with, with those clients that are more apt to uh, experiment, right? So um, if we could use attention as a negotiation uh, approach and, and leverage the fact that we know that uh, whatever the programming is, whatever, if it's an MVPD versus a, versus a native uh, streaming property, we know that the attention is there, we may be willing to um, you know, give more when, when negotiating versus, uh, you know, a place where, yeah, it has a ton of eyeballs, but it's, it's pretty, pretty much a tune out uh, situation. 